Okay, welcome back. Um, if you recall on the last clip I did uh, preceding this one, I said that I was going to get on to doing the um, drilling through the pilot holes for the completion of the AN4 bolts, which tie the whitetail back to the long rons, um, uh, just uh, adjacent or just next to the um, hockey sticks. Well, it's not actually tomorrow, it's around about uh, two or so weeks on since then. Um, I made a, uh, an error, another mistake, um, and I'm just going to go through uh, stupidly what I did, and, and I know how I did it now after I'd done it. So we'll just flip the camera. Inside, oh, what the hell's going on here? 0.5, that's better. Okay. Uh, in the back of the, the aft end of the um, uh, hockey sticks, you'll see this angle here, um, which is an SNX uh, F2206, which is just sort of, I'll use this as a, a little bit of a pointer. You'll see this angle here. So this is where the AN4 bolts go through to tie, the, tie this whole section back to the long rons. And then obviously you've got the, the other ones bolts through here uh, for the whitetail itself. When I was drilling the pilot hole through here, it ended up looking like that. The other side was fine, this side was not. So that is the correct hole for some reason, and that is the incorrect hole. When I measured out the quarter inch uh, drill, thinking that it, if I drilled through, would I have eaten to that? And the answer was no, I didn't. You know, it, it may not have been okay, it may have been okay, it may not have been, but for I don't know, I think it was about $18 each. Um, I ended up buying two. That's a spare, I won't be using that, hopefully. Um, I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna do it right. Uh, and I think the only way that I achieve that is, you recall that I had the skins, actually what I might do is I might just quickly go over here because we can kill two birds with one stone. Um, when I've been assembling, Actually, just before I get onto that mistake, this is now all ready for, this has now all been AN bolted through here, 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 and here. Um, all been riveted through for the um, shear plate assembly. I've just got these to do, which is this little rib here. Uh, and then that's where the AN bolts go through there and there where the white tail sits down. So you recall when I was putting all this together, I had this side here hard against. and uh, and I would only be pulling one side off. Now this side here had few clecos in to stabilize the positioning of that. And I think what's happened is because I've, as you recall, I've been taking um, the skin, there's my uh, hammer fallen down. When I, when I moved the skins backwards and forwards, I neglected to probably fix that in spot. And I think what's happened is it's just gone slightly back like that, drilled through, and that's how I achieved it. So, hence me having to then buy new parts, put this back in spot, so it's a trap. It was, I, I got caught. All right, I'm digressing. So, just quick, well, before we go over to the Y tail over there, this is all ready to go, and I'm gonna leave both skins off this time as I'm progressively putting this together, just to show you how easy it is to get into all of these parts now. Um, to do this how Sonics did it is just beyond me. How the hell, unless all this wire tail is bolted back to here before you, I don't, I don't know. Anyway, I'm not going to get into that argument. I'm doing it this way. These are easy enough to pull backwards and forwards. I can get to all of these bolts everywhere. So just, we'll just quickly race around here and then I'll get on to building. All these AN bolts are through here. Um, underneath, looking through, you'll see there's my AN4 bolt through here. I'll go on the other side in a minute. They've all been torqued up. Uh, quickly going around. They've all been torqued. There's the AN4 bolts through here. Now, they've all been torqued up, um, and these are just put them in spot, because if I don't put them in spot now, you can't actually get them in and out, uh, because they hit that top angle. Now... Those that are observant will notice that I've got these bolts around the other way. Now, according to the drawing, they do go that way around. And that is because 
you can't get the bolt in from the back side because of that last uh, part of the um, turtle deck. I, I, ha I have to, and I'm sure everyone's going to agree with me, there's no right and wrong way to put a bolt through because it should be the same both ways. The only reason I've done it that way, I just, I just did. Uh, and I can also view the inside of those nuts. If I pull that little cover plate off, this one here off, I can probably view those bolts, the head, my, my apologies, I can view those nuts, you know, maybe after 10, 20, 30 hours of flying, you can look at them and give them a bit of a talk up or something like that. I don't know that it's required. Um, but for me, it's probably just a, a quick visual reference. Uh, yeah, just quickly going around here for a minute. I don't... I can't see how you can get to the underside of any of these, inside of all of these. I think there's an inspection plate that goes here somewhere. Um, I could be wrong in saying that, but I do recall looking at a drawing. So when, once all these are bolted in, I don't think you can ever get to them again. Um, unless you pulled the, you know, you've de, de, de riveted and, and pulled the skin back. But I'll I tell you what, I don't know. Am I waffling? Probably. Anyway, let's get on to building. Okay. okay, I've just now riveted all the last of the shear plate assembly through. I just put a couple of temporary um, AN bolts through here just as a, as a locator. AN4 bolts just to, to help me align that angle through there. I mean, you know, even though it's got Clecos in it, it can be just slightly out. It's better to be on the ur of caution than it is not to be. So... Uh, they slip in nice and easily. I can now take those two out. I'm going to now bring the white tail over, sit it in situ, and we'll have a look what it looks like. Talk with you soon. Okay, I think I have <laughs> installed this white tail on its spot now for the very, very last time. Um, and you can see those two little AN four bolts through there they went through um, just slip straight in the holes um, so uh, I'm very very happy with that it's now ready I've taken those packers out there's no longer needed needed to have those um, and as you can see it's it's very very easy now to get to all of those internal parts uh, with these skins off and that's just I believe is a good way to do it. Anyway, I'm going to proceed now with the bolts and nuts and get this uh, white tail talked off and done and then close the skins off. Talk with you soon. Okie dokie, all ready to uh, talk all these uh, nuts and uh, off to their uh, correct torque setting. Um, everything is in, just noting that I've, I've put on brand new uh, nuts uh, because I only want to put them on uh, the once obviously I've had this dry fitted many many times uh, these nuts the being the packet of these ones this is my uh, used uh, uh, inventory of nuts and a few bolts I don't know how the bolts got in there but anyway I'll keep them aside just in case I've taken them out of their little trays and forgot to put them back in but um uh, long story short, I've bought another 50 of those. Uh, you know, for the sake of 17 odd cents each, I'm going to use them. And I, you know, um, I'm going to put brand new ones on when it comes to, to talking it up, rather than put on one that's been tightened up 20 times, which it could very well have been. But anyway, all done. All the AN4 bolts underneath there are done. You can't see them from here. Ready to talk up, and um, let's get this baby locked away. Okay, all the uh, bolts are now torqued off um, all the way through, uh, including the AN4 bolts. Now, I did that on my own. I'm going to have to wait for uh, Yitka to get back from overseas. I think it's definitely a two-person job. Um, you know, it's a bit hard to sort of get your arm around there and do everything before I torque those up. I've tightened them as best I can. I'll just double-check the torque settings on those. Um, that is uh that is it ready for the skins now but it's i'll tell you what it's uh it's pretty damn tight now so i can see why there's a lot of stress on this area here but uh 
Anyway, um, ready to uh, ready to, to to sheet it all off and and rivet it. Talk with you soon. Yeah, hey, welcome back. Uh, good morning. Um, it is a lovely morning here this morning. It's um, Sunday, second uh, or third of July or something like that. Something like that. Um, uh, last week's uh, last post was uh, 300 hours in, um, and I already would have it. Um, today is uh, the six month mark, so a little over 300 hours, six months in. I have a completed uh, uh, aft end of the fuselage. Um, white tail's all fitted, riveted off. Uh, control surfaces are all fitted. Uh, tail wheel is in position. A uh, little rudder is in position. Uh, no issues with it. Uh, went together like a finger in a glove, so um, I'm pretty happy. With everything the way it's gone, uh, very apprehensive about in the early days of um, ensuring that the AN bolts were perpendicular. Uh, they were, so they've all slipped in fairly well. Uh, uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's it. I'm pretty stoked. I can uh, now do a clean up of the workshop and start the fourth end of the fuselage. So I'll just finish off with the. Little bit of a viewing of the the tail end and um, throw some music into it and uh, enjoy <laughs> 